What is going on everybody? I'm Taylor Roberts and welcome to another episode of Off The Deep End. If you're just joining us for the first time, we are in the middle of a marina deep dive where we are discovering and exploring her artistry and creativity through her music, lyrics, and music videos, which means new marina reactions Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that little bell button so you get notifications of when those new videos drop. Hop on over to Instagram and Twitter, give me a follow, I'm gonna follow you back. So without further ado, let's go. I feel like I'm on like stage and I'm about to, about to say Shakespeare. Someday wake up, give me a cigarette. Okay, let's do it for normal. <laughs> do it normally this time. Sunday, wake up, give me a cigarette. Last night's love affair is looking vulnerable in my bed. Mm. Um, okay, so for, with those first two lines, um, I feel like she's just woken up from whether it's a one night stand or if it happens to be um, her lover or something, but she she's regretting it right now. She's like, ah, oh, shit, like, what have I done? You know, there's a there's a tinge of regret there. Silk sheet, blue dawn, Colgate, tongue warm. Okay, so you know, silk sheet and blue dawn. She's cleaning. She's cleaning the sheets. Here she's talking about trying to to kind of clean up the stains and clean up um, what had happened that night before that she regrets so much um, that she's trying to get rid of any evidence that it that it actually happened. Won't you quit your crying? I can't sleep. One minute I'm a little sweetheart, and next minute you're an absolute creep. Okay, so it's not a one night stand. This this happens to be an actual relationship, and what I'm getting from it is, you know, sh she's not happy in this relationship at all. Um, and the person that she's in love with happens to kind of be happens to kind of have two sides to this person. One person who could be uh, you know, really, really sweet and loving and caring, but can, can instantly switch into something more sinister and more kind of just rude and, and, and mean. We've got obsessions. I want to wipe out all the sad ideas that come to me when I am holding you. So she knows the relationship is bad and she knows that this relationship is probably bad for both of them and it's no good for them, but she just happens to be every time she comes back to this lover, you know, it's almost as if she just tries to forget all of the bad things about the relationship um, just to be with this person. No matter how bad it is, she just wants to be with this person, which means that, you know, it's in a, it could be a, a, a toxic relationship. She's obsessed with this person um, that she's willing to, you know, forget about all the bad stuff just to be with this person. We've got obsessions. All you ever think about are sick ideas involving me involving you so now here we're getting a little bit of a inside look at at what kind of toxic relationship this is you know with that line all you ever think about are sick ideas involving me involving you i think it i instantly think you know something sexual um whether it's like you know sexual ideas or things that they're that they're experimenting with that you know she's not really into but he wants to do but could also be abusive whether it's a you know a physically abusive relationship or an emotionally and a mentally abusive relationship um overall it's just a really 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 bad relationship supermarket oh what packet of crackers to pick they're all the same one brand one name but really they're not. Look, look, just choose something quick. People are staring, time ticker quicking. Skin is on fire. Just choose something, something, something. This with me, it kind of seems like a, a situation that's that's filled with anxiety, you know? Um, when she's saying crackers, I feel like she's referencing possibly this relationship. Like she knows that they're, they're all the same, um, but she's having a hard time trying to figure out which one is the right one even if they're all the same. So I, I, you know, instead of crackers, you know, put this in relationship perspective, I feel like she uh, is talking about, you know, her relationships always happen to be the same. She always gets herself into these 
these same kind of relationships it's skin on fire it's an it's a feeling of anxiety you know it's a it's a social anxiety like if people are staring at you in the supermarket you're gonna get a little bit like what the fuck are they staring at me for you know what i mean it's a it's an anxiety feeling so she's getting anxiety from these relationships that she tends to get into next minute i am turning out of the door facing one week without food a day a day when things things are pretty bad but don't let it make you feel sad the crackers were probably bad luck anyway so i feel like this means that she's really just accepting the situation you know or she's trying to justify her reasoning of not picking out the crackers which you know to me is symbolizing her justifying the reason of being in this in this toxic relationships can't let your cold heart be free when you act like you've got an ocd so you can't give into emotions whether it's her whether it's him one of them they can't they can't open up they can't let their heart be free and you know a cold heart is being emotionally distant and all of that so it could be both of them or it could be you know either one or the other who just doesn't want to open up emotionally we got the chorus of we've got obsessions i want to erase every nasty thought that bugs me every day of the week we've got obsessions you never told me what it was that made you strong and what it was that made you weak it's just reiterating what i said before of just trying to forget all the bad things of the relationship because she's obsessed with this person but he happens to be doing the same thing too they're obsessed with each other um, even though they're closed off and it's somewhat emotionally distant from each other, they're obsessed with each other and they want to be together no matter how bad it is. You got the chorus and, and the post-chorus again, which is reiterating the same thing. But then you have the outro. And with the outro of the song, you have Sunday, wake up, give me a cigarette. Last night's love affair is looking vulnerable again. So we kind of looped back to the very beginning um, of the opening lines of the song which to me shows that this really is just an emotional loop this relationship is is it's all a loop it's like a it's like a ocd the relationship is this is very ocd um type song and it's relating these ocd symptoms to this toxic relationship that no matter how bad it is they always still want to be together because they're obsessed with each other and that's just that's just how that relationship is is gonna be until they can break the cycle but anyways guys that's it make sure you let me know your interpretations of the songs or what you think the songs are about down in the comment make sure you guys like the video share the video also you know this is the very first kind of lyric video lyric breakdown video i've made so i'd love some feedback if you guys could give me some feedback on if there's any ways i can approach this video differently that would be awesome my my only goal you know, is to be able to create the best content I can for you guys. So I really do appreciate it. So that would be awesome. Thank you. But yeah, remember we're in the Marina deep dive, which means new Marina videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that little bell button so you get notifications of when those new videos drop. Hop on over to Instagram and Twitter. Give me a follow. I'm going to follow you back. Last but not least, just a quick shout out to all of my new subscribers. What's up, guys? Welcome to our little growing community. And that's all I got for you today, guys. Take it easy, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time. Hey, thanks for watching Off the Deep End. Make sure you subscribe, comment, like, and share, and feel free to explore our channel and check out some of our other videos. Remember, new videos drop every week. Take care.